What was your feeling when you read the script for Joker for the first time? I was just very excited when I read it. It, it was incredibly powerful, even on the page, much like I think the final product. I was, it was, it, you know, scripts can go in many ways when you read them, particularly when you're reading, you know, I used to read scripts for a living. Like that's when I first moved to Los Angeles, uh, my first job was as a script reader. So you would spend, you know, weeks and weeks reading dozens and hundreds of scripts. And so you, you know, screenplays aren't necessarily always a correlation to the movie that they'll become. Like there are amazing screenplays that are really hard to translate on film. And then there are, you know, screenplays that are kind of whatever that can translate quite vividly. And they're, they're, the medium is sort of not necessarily correlates one to one. This screenplay, and I've read obviously all of Todd's stuff, it was, a, it was just a beautiful page turner in which every single scene and every section of, this, of the story felt super vivid. And I could see instantly how we could translate this to screen in a successful way. Like it wasn't one of those ones I just ex as used in ex as an example of where the correlation wasn't necessarily going to be one to one. It was, you know, it was, it was exciting to see something that was such a deep dive into one human being's descent into madness or perhaps his ascent into his truest crazy self, you know, chaotic self, darkest self, um, his rebirth of sorts. So it was, it was a complex screenplay and something I was super excited to shoot for sure. In terms of the characters, you know, transformation, did any of the scenes um, concern you or did you feel that actually you could go darker, that maybe they weren't enough to really ramp up the emotion behind what his life was like? It's so funny because it was so long ago, you know, two years or so ago when I first read the screenplay and over the course of making a movie, you dissect it so, so much, like you, everything becomes... First, you're like breaking it down and figuring out how what, how you're going to schedule the movie and shoot it in its parts and all these things that my first read of the screenplay versus like its final product, they're all now one thing. So it's an interesting question. Perhaps it would it, it, I would almost need more time to sort of go back into my memory and think like, was there something I was scared about or was there something um, certainly, you know, the the couple very specific violent acts in the movie i think you recognize okay the movie is going to have these very specific not a lot of them there's just like a couple specific points of violence and you know the killing of murray franklin which is at the end of the movie spoiler uh <laughs> i don't know where people are i assume most a lot of people have already seen the movie sure. if they're watching this but um you recognize, okay, that that's a powerful thing that that this character is doing, and how can we align ourselves with Arthur Fleck emotionally, feel the humanity of him, and and empathize with him as a human being, and yet still not rationalize his acts in sure. the movie. And I think that was something that I certainly was aware of, certainly for me that. Um, I felt like, okay, I think one of our objectives in this movie is to tell the story of a human being and how a human being can take a certain path and not necessarily, you know, absolve those acts, but recognize and understand, you know, the, the causation of them. And, and, the, and, and that might be part of this, the telling of this story. So, You had a great feeling about the script. Did you think it was going to have the impact that it's had now? whether positive, negative, box office results? Box office results, I thought it would be successful, you know, probably, you know, in enough like of a range in worldwide, maybe $300 million, that for the budget that we made it on, which was just under $60 million, that everyone would be okay. Like it wouldn't, it would be considered a hit. Everyone would be fine. You know, Warner Brothers would feel good about it. I thought it would be successful in that range. But the fact that it's become, you know, made a billion dollars, it broke the R-rated box office record, no, there's no way to predict that. Um, I certainly was aware from the beginning that this was going to have more eyes on it, like more people were going to be interested in this movie than perhaps anything Todd and I had made before. Because the Joker lore, the DC 
universe of that, everything about that character, partly because of Heath Ledger, Jack Nicholson, Jared Leto, all these sort of versions of Joker, I recognized that the certain, the fervent fan base was gonna have a lot of interest. And even the non-fervent fan base, which I would include myself in that, somebody who you know, liked the Dark Knight series or the, the Nolan series, but not necessarily somebody who like watches all the comic book movies, uh, would be interested in as well. So we went, okay, we know that the stakes are high and it's not something where it can just exist in this sort of niche little place and you know, film fans will, will find it, but we don't have to worry about the, the mass audience. We recognize that, yeah, this movie is gonna, it's, a, it's, it's like if it falls flat, if it doesn't work, it's, it's also gonna have a big impact, you know, in the sense of it's not gonna be something that, that, that uh, is gonna go unseen or unnoticed. So that was, we were aware of that for sure.